Hello, Love Talk and Radio. Thank you for To Blog Talk Radio. This is your host, James Whitfield, at Our Turn Social Media Radio. And we also have on the line Samantha Walker from Rebirth Radio, Another Perspective. Sam, are you there? Hello, Sam. If you're there, speak up, please. All righty, one second here. We'll have Sam. Hello, Sam. Are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Just barely. You might have to speak up a little louder so the guests can hear you. All right, are you there? Can you hear me now? I can barely hear you. I doubt if the guests out in the listening audience can hear you. All right. How's that? Can you hear me better now? Once again, I can hear you just fine. I don't think that the guests can hear you. Hmm. All right. Bear with us here, folks. We'll be right here. We have a fantastic show lined up for you. And once again, my name is James Whitfield, and I am the host and founder of Our Turn Social Media Radio and Our Turn Social Media Network, and as well as Ex Offenders Resource Network. But like I say, we have an engaging show, and we'd also like to send a shout out to Miss Simone Higginbottom. From Rebirth Radio, she's the founder, CEO, and president, and we really appreciate her listening in, and also um, being the managing supervisor boss for Miss Samantha Walker. All right, Sam. Hello. Okay. Seems that we have lost Samantha Walker here on air. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get into the broadcast of what we're going to talk about here today. You know, um, Ex Offenders Resource Network is a nonprofit organization that was set up by myself six and a half years ago to help the men and women coming out of prison have an alternative voice, someone that they can relate to, to help them with issues that they face as they try to reacclimate back into society. Well, recent months, we've met with the United States Probation Department and the Federal Reentry Court here in Minnesota and developed a partnership with them. Ex Offenders Resource Network and Platinum Staffing in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, and Becker, Minnesota, have all uh, began working together. And we are now um, working with the United States Probation Department, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the U.S. District Court, and and the uh, Federal Bureau of Prisons to help the men and women get back to work. All right, I do believe that we now have Samantha on the line. Samantha, are you there? Can you hear me now? 
Like I said, I can hear you, but I doubt if our guests can hear you. Well, it's using the platform, so they should be able to hear me. Did you, if you, okay. if you've patched me in, they, if you press the microphone button and unmuted me, you should, everybody should be able to hear me if you can hear me, because you're broadcast. Well, say, yes, I can hear you now. Okay, perfect. So, perfect. Sam, tell us what, um, what fantastic things have you been working on here so far this year? Well, my show, Another Perspective on Rebirth Radio, Shadow World Media, um, has been picked up by Our Heart Radio. I've been working on my career. Simone Higginbottom is an amazing producer, director, editor, along with the other artists on the radio platform. And we are blowing it up for 2020. We have a revamped, brand new show, brand new logo. Brand new content. Um, another perspective is all about controversy and the topics that are hard to discuss, things that make people uncomfortable but really need to be said, really need to get it out there, open it up, and, and stop keeping things in the shadows. So, and, and of course, it's my own opinion and my experiences and my education along with that. Um, so, really, it's been working on those things. Um, I know there's a a couple of topics that you and I are going to discuss today on your show that also kind of crosses and bridges over into some of the content areas that I'll be discussing in my show and that other broadcasters on Rebirth Radio will be discussing as well. Oh, okay. It sounds like that you guys have a a whole lot of new things happening for you, and I'm happy to hear that. Yes, yes. You know, um, we, um, I had briefly discussed, I had briefly discussed that uh, our turn social media as well as Next Defenders Resource Network are working on new things. Right. And that uh, platform is amazing for the social media site. I mean, you really have a lot going there, a lot of things that aren't being done in other places. Well, you know, our goal when we sat down, I believe, Sam, you were with me or we had had a discussion in June of 2017 of creating Absolutely. I was there. A, different, a different social media platform, something that Facebook, Google, I mean, uh, Snapchat, none of Instagram, none of them are doing. We have become right. the ultimate one-stop social media platform for whatever it is that an individual is looking for to better their lives, to improve their lives, or better yet, as some people with social media, to really have a life. Well, and because connect, on average, it's all about the community and connecting, right? And what better that way is true. to bring your betterment of your life in connecting in one place, right? True. Well, when you look at it and you realize that people on average spend four to six hours a day on social media, some even longer, that time can be spent earning a college degree or a certification in a different field or career choice. And we also have employment set up on the site so that way once they earn that degree or diploma, they're set to walk right into a job. Yeah, that's you know, amazing. So, you know, and we've partnered with organizations that at some of the world's top colleges and schools, Ivy League schools and universities around right. the world. There's a total of 240 of these educational services available through our term social media. Well, in, in then, for well, the, the niche of ex-offenders, James, for the niche of ex-offenders, you really have the hookup with a, a solid organization and a solid individual who is really willing to give those ex-offenders and people in the reentry com- community a second chance at life. And so that that's amazing. 
That is true. One of the world's largest employers is Manpower. And we've been working with Manpower since our inception in 2013. And they've been putting people back to work irrespective of their prior criminal history. They base it upon having an individual conversation with the person and then going off of it from there, you know, because they want to know what type of uh, individual that they're really dealing with versus what they read on paper. And now, that is what they make that is, 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 You yourself are running these organizations. You're a member of the black community. And am I mistaken or, or is the owner of manpower or, or the, the individual responsible for that, is, is he a member of the black community or am I thinking of someone else that you work with? Um, recently, there was um, there was an African-American female that was appointed, I do believe, as the president or CEO for the Manpower Corporation. I'll have to double-check my records just so that I don't mistake that. But uh, locally, there's an African American, well, an African gentleman uh, that runs several uh, temp agencies here in the Twin Cities, three throughout Canada, and three in Europe. And he's further developing other temp agencies in other parts of the world that also would put people back to work to Ex Offenders Resource Network platform because we are just not a local Minnesota organization. We are recognized in 200 countries around the world. Man, that is incredible. I, it hasn't been easy, but hey, it had to be done. You right, know? right. And uh, by with the formation of our turn social media as a platform. Like I said, we had to take into into context every single facet that an individual would need. We have a housing platform through a partnership and a link that was provided to us through the Chris Lindau Realty team here in Blaine, Minnesota. So here, let's give a shout out to Chris Lindau Realty up there and his team. Hi. But, but um, what they did is they partnered with a home ownership program where our individuals who come through the site can rent to own a home. It's a relatively easy and simple process that they do. They fill out an application if they are approved. You go on, you find the house in whatever part of the country here in the United States that you want to live in, and the realty company will go through and purchase the home and then lease it back to you, therefore giving you that option after a certain period of time to buy the home out from under them. So it's contract for deed. It's something like that, you know. Rent to own, contract to yeah. You know, it still affords the individual an opportunity to become a homeowner. Which is really so, where it's at now. I mean, uh, paying a mortgage is far less than paying rent right now. Yeah. You know, uh, that is something. I mean, uh, recently uh, my son made purchase of his very first home. And, you know, I'm very proud of him, and he bought his home in St. Paul, Minnesota area. And But, however, it was through a different realty company, and that one is called the Sin Tree Realty LLC. These are friends of mine All right. that, have, that have gotten together a realtor and an insurance agent, and they formed a company started buying properties, and now they sell and resell. That's and pretty so, cool. But, you know, so <laughs> we, uh, 